Melanie Zanona joins us. She's a congressional reporter and huddle author at Politico. Melanie, good morning. Hi, good morning. I want to talk about Paula Reed's story uh, for a minute here. What is the intention, the motivation behind this? Is it just to throw a ton of information in the direction of Congress and the American people? Or what, what's the real deal here? Well, conservatives have been pushing for this for months. Yeah. Trump actually initially said last fall that he wasn't going to do this. But they say they need to be transparent with the American people about the origins of the Russia investigation. The concern, though, from Democrats is that William Barr is just going to essentially be doing the bidding of the president, that he's going to be cherry picking information, he's going to be weaponizing it, that he could release it sort of strategically heading up to the 2020 election. So there's not a little, uh, there's not a lot of confidence right now with Democrats that he is going to be um, sort of not political in the way he goes about this. One of the things we know Democrats want to see is Robert Mueller to testify any indication whether or not we'll see this in the near future. That is the million dollar question yeah. right now. Chairman Jerry Nash Nadler just said last week that Mueller is willing to testify, but in private. He does not want to be a political pawn in this fight. But he is willing to do an opening statement publicly, have a transcript made available. But Democrats say it's really, really important that the American people hear from him publicly. His words will have more power than just reading it. So we're seeing this little back forth here. And of course, the other question is whether President Trump is going to block him from right. testifying. Well, he could theoretically give an interview in some other forum, and the president couldn't block that, correct? That's right. So I think that's a lot of the debate right now. The question is, are Democrats willing to have him in a closed door setting versus the public? You've also heard some Democrats start to grow a little restless and float the idea of a subpoena for Mueller. But that would be a more drastic option. So, you know, it's still in the early stages. Can we, can we talk about the president's relationship with Nancy Pelosi, which <laughs> seemed, to reach, seemed to reach a new level this yes. week? There, there had been this sort of begrudging respect of the president towards Nancy Pelosi, but, but that, that seemed to go all, out, all, out the door this week. With and a I, single word. Yeah, with a single <laughs> word. Uh, what, what, has something changed there, do you think? I mean, you're absolutely right. The president has long held a lot of respect for Nancy Pelosi as a politician, her ability to command uh, respect in her caucus. But this week you did see that turning point. And I think there's two reasons. Number one, he lost two key court cases in this oversight battle with Democrats. That was really frustrating for him. It was a huge blow to his stonewalling strategy. And the other thing is you're hearing more and more Democrats start to call for impeachment. You also heard a Republican last weekend, Justin Amash of Michigan, become yeah. the first yeah. Republican to call for this. So he's really feeling the heat, and you're starting to see him lash out as a result. So Nancy Pelosi has been trying to hold the line with some of the more left-leaning uh, people on her side of the of the fence. But, but is she really going to be able to do that? I mean, is it enough? Well, she bought herself a little bit of time this past week. She got her troops together for a closed-door emergency meeting, said, we are making progress. We just won these court battles. We're going to hold a contempt vote. She ramped up her own rhetoric. But I think there could be a tipping point in the future, especially if Trump does do something like block Mueller from testifying or if he defies these court orders. You talk to these members on Capitol Hill, and they say, OK, we'll follow the lead of Pelosi, but there could become a point where they can no longer stay silent where they're going to have to get on that impeachment bad wagon. No shortage of things to talk about this holiday weekend mm -hmm. yet again. Melanie, thank you very Thanks much. Thanks for having me.